I'm with Chris. It's uh, Zach Fowler's apprentice. He said he had a bead on a couple of turkeys, a couple of toms, spending a lot of time out here in this field. And he said, uh, we can come out and hunt it. So I'm gonna take that opportunity. We're running late. We, uh, we just did another catch and cook. Just got it done. Just got off the beach. So, hey, we got a little bit of time. We got about two hours till dark. The birds are, they've been roosting about this time here. So we gotta get quick, get set up. Let's get the decoy out. We'll make a, br a impromptu blind, yeah. get something set up. We don't have anything, anything ready. Last time I was here, they roosted up above me, messed me up, <laughs> and uh, so I'm back here for revenge. So we're gonna set this decoy up. There's two holes, there's a hole in the front. There's a hole in the middle here. I find that looks like an on alert turkey, a hen. I don't like that. So I like to put it at the front one. Um, so, and, and then anchor the stick down below here. So when it goes in the ground, it looks like it's a feeding hen, which is not on alert. He's gonna think, first of all, that she sees him and she should go to him. And second of all, that she's on alert and maybe thinks something's up.
<laughs> Dude, that bird. Man, he worked. He was gonna go do the slip again. He's taking his time. <laughs> He's definitely taking his time. We called those birds all the way across that field. I'm just making sure he's not getting up and doing something silly. No, he's down. Oh, man. That was pretty wild, huh? Yeah. Are you shaking? That, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely a little shook. That was awesome, man. <laughs> These birds are 100% decoy shy, man. They've been hunted hard. Yeah, they're not dumb. There's a, there's a girl and her dad hunting here with bows. And once they started working in, I'm like, shoot. I don't know about that decoy. We should have put um, should have put the the gobbler out there. I think we'd put the gobbler oh, yeah. out there. Those two toms would have come in and just smoked it. But you could see that once they split up halfway, one went out in the field. No he must idea. Have come sprinting back. No, as soon as that one went down, he came back. He to came fight in it. to beat up the, <laughs> beat up his friend. He's like, forget this. You're down. You're dead. I'm we're gonna get you. Finish him off myself. Nice shot, man. You put him right down. Yeah. No, we called. Colin hung up about, what, 200 yards in the middle of the field, just stood there. Stood there, stood there, stood there, stood there. Not one to have anything to do with anybody. And then uh, I did a bunch of purrs. Just he was interested in those. Oh, he's flopping. Should we go finish him? Yeah, we gotta go, go finish him. We'll make sure he doesn't take off here. As long as he doesn't get up. Don't shoot him again. He's, he's probably dead. Yeah, thing is, man, those birds hung up a good distance looking at that hen, our hen decoy. Wouldn't come, wouldn't come, wouldn't come. And then it was gonna nope out of the field again. I'm like, no, not again. There we go. <laughs> Chris's second tag, he got tagged out here in Maine. Yeah. Nice northern turkey. Decent spurs on him. What's a beard like? I didn't see oh, a nice beard. Yeah, he's got a long, nice long beard. Six or seven. Oh, that's longer than that's not. That's oh, yeah. a nine. Or, Did you keep your other one? I don't know where it is. Well, there you go. You got this. One. I got that's this good. one. Yeah. Got spurs. What's that? About half inch. Half inch. Half so inch quarter. Three quarter. Oh, he's got one. Three quarter. That one's a little bigger. Let's see that one. Yeah, about three quarter inch. Beautiful. Three quarter inch spurs. Nice healthy bird. Oh, beautiful. Full. Tom. Not too not beat a up. Jake. That's beautiful. So man, did you learn anything? Uh, definitely <laughs> to stay quiet, have a good backdrop. Yeah. And don't call too much. That's yeah. Another thing. Yeah, the big thing is like if a bird, if a bird, exactly, if a bird is doing what you want it to do, let it do what it wants to do. Yeah. You know, if it's gonna come in, let it come in. If it hangs up, let it hang up for a second. You know, when the bird gobbles, don't call. Yeah. Because if you call, you're telling the bird that you're you gonna play hard to get exactly <laughs> that's exactly right but in in nature in birds as far as uh, turkeys go the um the hen is supposed to go to the gobbler that's why the gobbler's all decorated the way it is it's fans out you know it's got a big bright head it's got the the, the spurs and it's got a big beard it's like and it struts out it's like hey look at me and when the hen is not looking it goes like this gobble 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 i'm right here we're gonna make maximum use of this bird so we're gonna pluck all the feathers out of this thing so that we can put it in the oven. Unfortunately, we can't do it primitively. We simply do not have enough time. The other problem is we don't actually have anything to stuff it with or cook it with or anything like that. So after we get this all plucked out, we're gonna go to the grocery store and pick some stuff up. <clears throat> I know it's probably something you know, guys are not totally used to on my channel. Uh, or maybe by the time you guys see this next spring or whatever, maybe I'll be doing it more often. All right, so Chris said we have one hour left before the grocery store closes here. So I think we got that plucked out reasonably quickly. And not the cleanest job I've ever done, but uh, we're a little strapped for time. So we'll cut the wings off the feet and uh, gut it out where we have a little bit more time and light. We'll zip off now to the grocery store and pick out some things we can stuff it try to keep it nice and moist all right we're going into the store this is called a hannaford do you guys have hannafords all over this place or is this like a main thing it's a main thing yeah it's not all over the u.s no it's a supermarket anyway we're gonna go in full camel boots all because that's 
how successful we figured we were going to be on this turkey hunt. We're going to see how long we can film before we get in trouble. We're going to grab, uh, we decide onions. on carrots, onions, celery. garlic, celery maybe. Yep. What else would, what else would you stuff it with? Probably one clove. I was not a good one. One clove. Mixed. Do you carrots? Think it'll fit too? I'll try to. Alright, we're out of here. We gotta go back to Zach's. It's a little bit of a drive. About a half an hour from here, so we're gonna zip over there. We're gonna be eating super late, but that's what happens when you have to harvest your food yourself. Well, half of your food yourself. There, right, here we go. So this is gonna be all in the pie. Where are you going, Zach? You're hitting hiding? Hiding out? Oh, here we go. You are. I was gonna run away. You're camera shy. I didn't want to. You don't want to be on it? You, want, you get another plug for your channel. I didn't. This is a complete separate video. It's all you guys. It is? No, it's you two. Yeah. You're part of the team, man. This is Zach's uh, kitchen that I'm borrowing, so <laughs> you deserve some credit. But yeah, I, I was gonna them. go to bed. They went out and shot a turkey and then they wanted to cook it and they're like, I'm coming back. And I was like, I'm going to bed. Where's that big knife you gave me? You teased me. Oh, you want the big one? I think I want to cut the head off with it. This one? Yeah, there you go. It's stuck to a magnet. You gotta pull it hard. All right, so ready? Go for it. That'll go right through it. Thankfully, you only have to do one cut and this is it. After that, we should be all off to the races. I'm gonna get this part. Oh, I got one more. There we go. Okay, so you guys mostly, you never get your turkey like this, right? Where you have all the junk in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out all the connective tissues. Should be able to pull the intestines out. There we go. We're gonna push the intestines back because we don't want all that to spill out. We're gonna tie that off and that ensures we don't lose any of it. Now, what we're going to do is work our way up into the bird to get the rest of it out without puncturing anything. We'll get that in there. Can we? Oh, we can. All right, so I'm gonna free all the bits up from the front. There's all sorts of connective tissue. And where does it keep loose? Get some cold water on it. Rinse it out. We'll make it look nice for the rest of YouTube. Okay, so we got our ingredients prepared. We have carrots, onions, garlic. We're gonna have some olive oil. And of course, adobo spice. This is available on uh, fowlersmakermistrip.com. You guys can pick that up. So I don't think there's any particular order in which these need to go in. So we're just gonna kind of maybe decide which proportions of things we want to have in there. Do we want to have more onions? Needs a good drink. Here we go. And then all the onions there. It's getting there. It's almost stuffed. I think this style of cooking would fly on a cooking show. Is this a cooking show? Oh, get our bird down on the ground here. Oh, of course that happens. As soon as we move it, everything wants to fall out. Paper towel and dry it off because you want to add some oil again on the top. Again, this is going to be a super, super, super dry bird. So I'm just going to oil it. And then we'll add our adobo spice outside here make sure it sticks on to the bird oh that smells so good already it's almost in the edible form now I think it smells good legs in there got the oven set for 175 so we're gonna cook this overnight all the way through the whole night till morning and by 12 hours from now let's say or 10 hours from now it's sh the bird should be cooked through at 175 degrees so safe to eat and not dry because it'll just be really really slow cook
Here we go. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. <laughs> you might be wondering why the weird way to eat this is, well, everybody's sleeping first of all. Chris is out like a light, snoring. I've got a 12 hour drive ahead of me back to Canada. So if I leave here nice and early, I'll get home by hopefully dinner time. So I'm gonna enjoy my dick dinner breakfast here, which is gonna be obviously turkey. I tried a few. I tried a few pieces inside there just to make sure make sure it's nice and cooked. Uh, it's meat is super delicious. It's super tender. It's not chewy at all. Not one bit. We knocked it out of the park. Perfect preparation. Lots of oil. Could have been basted slightly more, slightly more. Um, just add a little bit of oil on top every time. Flip it. Well, Man, is it tender. Perfect meat. So we end up doing 200 degrees rather than 175. And cook up all night. I'm going to leave it in the stove for them. So that they can feast on it throughout the day. Make themselves some turkey sandwiches. Because like I said, I got to hit the road. I got to get back home. I hope you guys think it's worth it that I stay around for one more morning in order to cook up my turkey if you guys want me to come back up here and do more shooting let me know you guys get to come home with me and experience many more adventures i'm very grateful for that oh we're back home that was a long drive 12 hours i got myself a speeding permit i stopped calling them tickets and fines it's one of these things that you get for speeding every once in a while it's your speeding permit the best part about this, c'est en français. Oui, le police m'a poigné en Québec. 225 dollars. Yeah, it's pretty good average. I put on about 2,500 kilometers all the way to Maine and back. And only one speeding permit. <laughs> Don't speed, guys. It's not good. We all do it. You guys know it. We all do it. Sometimes we get caught. You guys figure out how much that is. Leave it down in the comments. You guys want me to go back to Maine? Hopefully no more speeding permits next time.